Hi, welcome back everybody. What I have in front of me is uh, a 1366 socket motherboard. It's Gigabyte's UD5 and the processor that's in it is the 980 Extreme. Now you see three uh, memory sticks here for a total I believe is uh, <coughs> it's, uh, uh, 16 gigs or I'm sorry, it's an off number. It's, uh, it is 16 gigs. Um, but what happened is the motherboard just fried and uh, if you have a processor like the 980 extreme you probably want to put in a really really good board you know um it depends what you're really doing people who game will put it in a gaming board people who need to do work they'll put it in a, uh, a motherboard for work so what i got to replace this board is well before the 90 the stock 980 extreme cooler if anybody wants to know does a pretty good job but uh that's not gonna be replaced what motherboard we chose to replace it when with is get out of the way gigabytes g1 killer gaming motherboard it's not gonna be used for gaming but quite frankly right now these motherboards are fairly affordable and they have uh, updated technology that the old motherboards didn't uh, this new motherboard for example features let me get in there so we can see what it does feature it features uh sata a front access panel of sata 3. uh it does feature driver mosfets uh which i believe was not available at the introduction of the uh, 1366 chipset um or the 90 extreme processor i might be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure it wasn't um it does support ram up to uh, 21 or 20 I believe it's 20 uh, it should be 2200 megahertz RAM now let's see what it does say it's, uh, oddly enough this isn't actually it's not a, a hugely detailed uh, uh, box like other gigabyte um, motherboards um, boxes have but it does have this feature five smart con fan connectors they feature a uh, a cartridge style, a soft bridge, so it looks like a machine gun cartridge, uh, running tri-channel RAM, uh, three-way crossfire or SLI, and it does fe feature uh, XFI Extreme Fidelity uh, chipset sound card uh, built in. So let's take a look at what it has. No cameraman today, so I'm doing this all by myself. So I'm hoping you catch everything. Oopsie. Terrible job getting it off by myself. Let's see. Black box with the uh, with the army motif still on here. Oh my lord. Well, here's what you get. You get a huge G1 killer, it looks like poster. Um, there's stickers. They're actually stickers. Kind of childish, but you know, I, I, I guess go for it if you really love it. Um, oh my lord, look at this. Now you get a huge poster that a gigabyte poster, target practice. Now, this is uh, again pretty killer overboard. I guess you're paying a lot of money for these extras here. Um, it's packaged like the premium Gigabyte motherboards. And you do have one on Let's take a look at the accessory pack first. It seems that they include an accessory pack. And uh, let's take a look at that. Okay. So what do they give you in the accessory pack? They, get you, they give you a front USB 3.0 panel. Very nice. So it has a connector that will connect right onto the motherboard and a front USB 3.0 panel. You get a SLI, three-way SLI bridge. We have two, we have four SATA cables in total. You get your driver disc, your gigabyte badging, you get a motherboard, um, Motherboard manual, sorry. 
you have a two-way SLI bridge and you have your back IO plate IO shield and it says G1 killer on here so very violent theme killer killer this killer killer that but I guess if you're you still have a uh, a processor from that time go for it but apparently they were it's it's clear cover uh, which is kind of weird because you can't actually open the front box to see it I'm not sure why they feel the need to put that there and let us put this out it's a fairly heavy motherboard it's a what we have here is an ATX motherboard and again the the theme here is that the G1 killer thing uh, they have a, a south bridge cooler here and it looks like a ma uh, machine gun magazine with a, a bullet on top I'm not really a fan of that. I like the green and black motif, but I'm not, I think this is a little bit overboard right here. Um, but you do have uh, two SATA 3 and then you have SATA 2 ports. Uh, we don't actually have buttons on the motherboard for reset or power. Um, this is, we have two PCI Express, one PCI. Uh, here we have three P PCI 16X. I'm, I believe the first two is 16x and the third would be 8x. I'm, so, I'm sorry. You have your uh, XFI chipset. Looking at the back, we have your analog uh, surround sound output. We have two, four, four USB 2, combination E SATA USB here, and then a USB 2.0 here. So SPDIF, and you even have PS2 ports, which is pretty nice. Um, but that's what you get. You have this huge, uh, looks like this Northbridge heat sink and these lights actually illuminate. And uh, I will actually uh, have a, um, a finishing video on this when it's done. But it's a pretty nice motherboard. Uh, went down in price a bit. And something that you might want to invest in if you want to uh, prolong the life of your uh, processor. Any question or comments, please, please place them at the bottom of the video. Thank you.